How you going, Aquarius? We're going to do a spiritual message and see what comes out. As you'll see, we start with nothing and we go through nothing. What we're going to do before we start, we're going to channel and see what comes through. Somebody's stepping off in the right direction. You're owning you, which is beautiful. You may have had to think a lot. You may have had to use your brain a lot. You may have had to be, you may have, may have been shutting yourself off from the world in the past. You know, that hermiting feeling. It'll lead you towards your level of ascension. And that's beautiful because it's like, um, it's a turning point for your brilliance. You might have been shying away from your own creative expression or shying away from yourself in itself. And that's beautiful because that gives you the trans transformation to be supported in your new opportunities as you step towards yourself with power and follow through with joy and happiness and positivity and those negative feelings from the past are only bringing towards it yourself and that's what I mean it's like somebody was blocking you before from be being you you're one with abundance which is magnificent as you step towards it with pure strength and uh, integrity in your heart which is magnificent because you are the abundance and that's clarity within that as you step towards your soul awakening or your retribution. It's like retribution that will be paid. And that's your soul expansion. Yes, there's leaps of faith, which is beautiful into itself, but it's like you're coming back to your own God, your own inner peace, your own self to be beautiful with that magic and synchronicity into yourself. It's like passion in the heart, enthusiasm in the hand. What we're going to do we're going to stop shuffling and start reading now and see what comes out. As you can see, we start with nothing. We split the deck, so it's all completely random. Put one card up in the corner there. And here we go. Let's have a look. And the thoughts. Value. You value your thoughts. You value yourself. You value your integrity. You value spirit. You value you. You see your own worst. And you know that, and that's magnificent. Straight into the heart. Releasing any burdens, any baggage, and to embrace that light, anything that juggles you, anything that manipulates you, anything that does not put equilibrium into your life, you're cutting it out. And that's magnificent, because that's the baggage she's releasing there to embrace that serendipity and that happiness and that magic and synchronicity as we're talking about. But it's balanced heart. You know your worth in your mindset, and you have a balanced heart. Let's go into the past here. Hard work and determination. You put a lot of hard work and determination into your soul. So things of the past that led you towards that. Like I said, you may have um, been shutting yourself off from the world before. Hermiting, thinking, using your mind wisely. Shows that you were dealing with somebody who was incredibly lazy. Because that's the hard work and determination that you put in. But it shows the past only brings you towards who you are as a soul. Somebody in the past was very selfish. Very cold. Very lazy. They kept you stagnant. They kept you stuck. Let's have a look at your current energies. That's what I mean. The temperature angel watches over you and keep you safe. With the harmony in that mindset and the balance in that balance in that heart and the harmony in the mindset of you knowing your worth. See, that's good communication. There's good news arriving. It's like you are the good news of yourself. Because see the balance of the masculine and the feminine. See the light here? The sun? Yeah. That's the sun, you've got your hand on it, and that's the light, and you can see it's coupled with the light. Temperance Angel watches over you and keeps you safe, but it's also the balance of harmony within one's soul as you step towards your levels of ascension and know what you deserve. It's going to the future. Manifesting, affinity, anything is possible in your universe when you embrace that light the way you're embracing it, especially when you know your worth and you know what you'll put up with and what you won't put up with. You can see you're sitting above the universe there manifesting and see the affinity sign. Anything is possible in that crown when you know your worth. What's in his crown is affinity, but he's also manifesting with his hands because you got your hand on the light. See, the hand is on that light, and that is the light that you are as you manifest beautiful things into your future. It's going to the unforeseen, stepping towards the right direction. It's like you're stepping towards you as a soul. It's what Spirit was talking about when I was channeling, is you're stepping in the right direction. And that's what she's doing there. The two of wands will be planning, but three is actioning on that plan and stepping in the right direction. You can see her right foot's forward shows you're stepping on the right direction to your future, but you also step with spirit. And spirit is watching over you, keeping you safe, which is beautiful. 
She's got her hands in this one on the surfboard, which represents your dreams. You're manifesting your dreams, manifesting those dreams into the future, but you're stepping in the right direction to get that into the world. Manifesting new opportunities. So trials and tribulations being passed. That's what I mean. The things of the past only led you into your world of being unapologetically yourself, that's for sure. But see, it's hard work and determination that you've put in on your soul, on your soul's journey to be the best version of yourself as it goes into the world. Your friends may be seeing the fact that you're manifesting new opportunities because this card in the in the book here it says manifesting new opportunities and it's in the world but yet into the future i can see you manifesting those new opportunities and they're good news it's good news because a couple with good news from the hard work and determination that you've put into your soul to address the things to know your worth and have balance in that world let alone balance in your heart she steps and she's balanced on one foot here see but the foot is well grounded so it shows it doesn't matter how much imbalances they put into your life, you'll still balance it out because you know spirit's watching over to keep you safe. She's got her hand on that at Pentacle, which shows the abundance of your soul. It shows the new beginnings. See, this card is good news, but this card says manifesting new opportunities, beginnings, good news, ambitions, skills and training, financial opportunities, new career paths, new connections coming into your world, exploring stages, beginner earth magic. We're all talking about that magic when we're channeling. It's like your magic, your synchronicity or some something in itself. Be able to manifest anything as long as your mind comes at it with pure thought and your heart's balanced the sky's the limit let alone the sky being the limit literally the sky being the limit that is sitting in the sky shows his level of ascension that he's taken place to be able to manifest and here's the manifesting and the new opportunities in the world and you're making those plans a reality that's what that card says but yet in the unforeseen she's stepping towards her dreams hopes look at the growth in your mindset hoping for abundance Hopes or fears. Fears could have come out there. That's what I mean. These readings are very specific. That's hopes and fears where this goes. But it's your hopes. So you're hoping for a good future. You're hoping to continually grow in your mindset. Because we've got the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles here with Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. A lot of abundance in your energy. A lot of earth magic. A lot of abundance. Just got a hand on that Pentacle too. They've all got their hands on something, except the past doesn't have his hands on anything. So it shows that you didn't have yourself grounded at that stage to be able to bring the abundance in. See, because he doesn't have anything in his hands. They're all behind him, all the pentacles of that. And lip walking towards his direction of the future there, it shows with the horse behind him, which shows endurance and speed and, and, and releasing the baggage, I suppose, the best way to say that, because it's in the past energy. Only grows you in your mindset. You can see she's growing from her mindset. She's also poised and elegant. A lot of abundance here. It's a lot of abundance. The uh, Queen of Pentacles is um, the person that I'm dealing with is material wealth and abundance, there's strength in family, strength in community. You're a kind and warm heart. I can see it there in the heart anyway. But being down to earth, you're very grounded. You have powerful healing capabilities of a healer, a working parent, a working friend, a, a self made person, something in itself which is beautiful. Have a look at your cards. That's, that's beautiful in itself. Look at it. Not a bad card at all. The only thing with the bad is the past. Look, and there's him releasing those burdens so you can have victory coming into the future. It's with the deck, victory, and there's the past in regret, watching that victory. See? Watching that victory. You're the blessing that was offered, and they didn't want to accept that blessing, so now they've got to sit there and watch you celebrate and have serendipity into the future, which is beautiful. But this is what you worked hard through. See that? Other learning energies of why. There's a manipulation, the codependency, the vices of some sort of addiction, the vices of somebody holding tight to something. You can see you're holding tight to see if she's holding tight here to a value. So you're holding tight to your value, your crown, your connection to spirit, your beauty in yourself. You might have had a lot of people in the past ostracize you and leave you out. Look at that. And there's your card there, the Knight of Swords. Look at that. That's what you're leaving behind. Ten of Swords stabbed completely in the back. Those scars turn to uh, character and personality as you turn your back on that bullshit here. See the fire, the passion there? And start to walk towards that light. See the light? See the light you are as you walk towards it? See? So you can sh not shut that door. You might have been ostracized in the past, manipulated. Somebody wished bad health upon you, which is why you're leaving it, to walk towards and embrace yourself as a soul with harmony. But you can see the what was manipulating you. Look, she's being commanded to stay down here. It's being put down. And it's playing on your mind. It was playing on your mind from the past, which is why you had to turn your back. Because there's sheer determination and there's justice for that stuff. That's right here. There's justice. Your level of ascension is too beautiful. You wear your heart on your sleeve. And then that's your purity of thoughts. 
So your purity of thoughts and that level of ascension we're talking about here. See how he's ascended into the future? So it's that level of ascension. And that's the justice, the balance, the karma for all the dickheads you've dealt with. Yeah, look at the two faces. Smiling on top, sad on the bottom. Smiling on top, two-faced on the bottom. Might have been hiding a lot of emotion there because look, she's hiding behind that door there. So you might have been hiding it away from the world. And that's why Spirit gave that idea of um, hermiting, shutting yourself off from the world in the past as you embrace yourself as a soul. See? You wear your heart on your sleeve. The horse in the background shows purity of the Lord. Manifesting new love. And there's the hermit. Yeah, you address the shadows leading into the future, which is beautiful because you know your worth. You're going to balance that heart. And there's the harmony in that world that comes in. And there's a cup of self-love. Yeah, see the cup here? This is the past here. Look. And that's why it all went down the drain. You try very, very hard. We could see that in that walking away card. You just had to let it go down the drain. There's you, the blessing behind her. And that's your blessing. You are the blessing. And they will hate all the psychic attacks and bullshit they put into your life as you complete it out to gain clarity in your soul. And step towards your, your journey, your level of ascension, and holding true to your values. You're definitely dealing with somebody extremely manipulative. Extremely manipulative. Yeah, and there's the choice. Stalemate. You're dealing with somebody who was extremely fake. They obsessed over riches. There's an, uh, a need to balance that material and spiritual. I can see it's balanced in your energy and it's beautiful, as you, especially as you lead towards your future. This is a reversals deck. So anything can possibly come out. Let's have a look at these energies now. I'm dealing with somebody incredibly naive. Incredibly naive at that. The fool is you stepping on your journey towards your hard work to release that, but it shows thoroughly that they were uh, naive. They assumed they already had the answer. They were overly impulsive. They lacked life experience. They were foolish. They jumped before they looked. Might have treated you like an option or put illusions into your life. See the illusions? It's like they put illusions into your mindset. You knew damn well that wasn't right. They put illusions into your life. They may have put a lot of, um, all the cups are in reverse there. So it shows it's completed or it's about to be completed or something like that, or it's done. So those, that's what, remember the eight of cups issues walking, walking away? The seven of cups is before that. So when you turn the cup upright, it's like that, that's what releases all that emotion into the water. So you can just be free in your own, in your own soul to step towards yourself. But with uh, the devil before it, it does show a lot of illusion that somebody's put into your life. Might've been manipulating you over, they might have been, because it's in the mindset, see, it's in the thoughts. They might have been making you feel like you're blocked by indecision or making you feel like you're making the wrong choice and that they distracted you by all things shiny because that's easier in itself. You know your worth now and you know you're not an option and you know you're not going to be made an option. So in that, you get the choices and the opportunities and the options that come into the future and I can see them there with fantasy and the beautiful wishful thinking you may have had to walk away without not, not deciding, not needing to know the whole full picture in some sort of way because it does lead to the Eight of Cups that we are just talking about before where you're walking towards that light. But it does show in the mindset that somebody was trying to put illusions into your mindset and it's that manipulation before it. We're dealing with somebody incredibly naive. The Page of Cups in reverse is somebody incredibly naive. They missed the signs. They were overly sensitive. They were displaying childish emotions. They were immature. There was unexpected inspiration there in some sort of way, in the way of uh, naivety. They missed the signs. They were overly emotional. Pages of children. It's like a child mindset. They're receiving judgment for their uh, face, for their facial masks that they wore there. It also shows um, that the spirit sees everything thoroughly and spirit knows your heart motives to be true because it's coupled with the temperance there. But it shows thoroughly that somebody was wearing masks there. They were hiding behind many masks. It gives you a chance to let go of the shadow aspects and bring your true natural essence. And that's what we're talking about. Start true natural essence to the flow because somebody was blocking you from being the best version of yourself, which is why you had to hermit or pull yourself away from that situation in order to think. Yeah, you have total authenticity and spiritual awakening. You are answering the call to your soul with self-acceptance because I can see self-acceptance in the crown of the reading. I can see that balanced heart coming into play so you can have that realization, but you're definitely dealing with somebody who needs to face the music because underneath that, we've got justice as well from their part. 
which is that karma's retribution that comes along to pay for the inequities and the uh, and inauthenticity of their soul for their lives of manipulation. See, because that's what that one would do is lie and manipulate you. Because they, they're a page of cups in reverse. Page of cups, I probably serendipity. I can see serendipity coming into the past, into the future. But you could not have that with this naive fool, which is why you put all that effort in and you just couldn't have it because they just put more and more illusions into your life and they will be receiving judgment. That's why you released it. Hangman's stuck and stagnant. It needs to be released so you can step on your journey. See? Once you release all that, you release it and step on your journey towards the future, which is beautiful. There was imbalances there. The balance is in your heart. See? The balance is in your heart, but it was imbalanced there. So you're able to balance the scales out with victory and movement. See? The victory and movement balances that scale to turn it back upright, which is in your heart. See? So once you have that victory, which is the movement, which is you to manifest the new opportunities, anything is possible with equilibrium as you step towards your journey. I'm dealing with an idiot. Look, Empress upright is unconditional love. Empress in reverse is somebody who does not, not now, not ever know how to love because they cannot get past that childish energy they have page of, uh, page of cups. Their ego wouldn't allow it. I'm dealing with somebody who was negligent with your emotions. They were very defensive, overbearing, that's why we're receiving judgment at the present moment as you step towards your journey. They were emotionally overwhelming. They shut you down. Gave you a chance to look after your health and know your own value that you bring to this world and nurture yourself. They had a tendency to be overbearing. There was disharmony, negligence. They focused way too much on material aspects. Like I said, they were fake with that one card that popped out there. Extremely fake. The perfect time for you to look forward to what inspires you, but what you're dealing with in the past was somebody who was... Um, really negligent with your heart was upright that would be the most loving card you could get but in the reverse like that it shows thoroughly that all she did was grow from it to know who you are as a soul which is why you got the abundant new beginning coming in but you couldn't couldn't teach them nothing they're an empress in reverse male or females are relevant which is why the death that could have come upright and it's for a rebirth but it shows why it had to end out and why it had to end out it's a death it's a symbolic death that has to end out but the best part about it when that death came around it only egged you on and grew to grow, grow that mindset and release that baggage to have the abundant new universe into your world and that's magnificent because it's coming in it happens in divine timing but it's coming in when it comes in it's going to be beautiful because that death is a symbolic rebirth it gives you the chance to just know what's for you and what's not for you as you step towards your energy that you bring. Because it's the end of that cycle in that world. That's what it means. It's in the world. So it's the end of that cycle in that world for you to have your transformation. New beliefs, new awareness. This is just this card. In reverse too, by the way. And give that symbolic death so you can have your rebirth and re renewal into your world with an abundant new beginning. There's a lot of abundance here. You may have been dealing with somebody very clingy. Their force of destruction was disgusting. And that's why it had to end in hope and end that way, if that makes sense. So you could have hope they may be mourning. They're not a vic they're not even a victory. And look, your victory is coming into your future because it's right there, right? The chariots, it's coming straight in. It's coming in with victory. But there's no victory there. That's why it had to end out. You can see there, it was a major life lesson because you've got one, two, three, four, five, five major arcana from the illusions of the naive love that they offered. All in all, all of them gone, except for the judgment that they'll receive and the release that you needed to release. But there weren't a victory. There was no victory there. There was no victory, no movement, no no nothing. They, you couldn't deal with this person. You had to focus your energy more and lack on, and, and there was a lack of self-discipline there because you were like giving, over giving and receiving to somebody who was lazy and manipulative, which puts self-doubt, self-doubt into your life. So that's why the movement had to take away because the movement is the victory coming into the future. But they were insecure. They were, in, they were just that card, one card here in their heart. They were, that's what I mean, they were insecure with your heart and it shows it there thoroughly which is why you juggle those thoughts so you could embrace that light and drive to succeed it's like you're dealing with somebody that fake that they would do anything to win at all costs with forcefulness obsession or distractions look at that that's in your world but it's in reverse for theirs see so it's over here you learnt the trials and tribulations that's what I'm saying you dealt with somebody you could not Learn the trials and tribulations with. They were incredibly cold, uh, not communicative. They were stubborn and they wanted to fight a lot. And it shows with that page energy plus their page energy here that you're dealing with a page. You're dealing with a real page. 
And this 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 card here is the best card to say it because upright, like you've got it into a world there's an abundant new beginning. It's learning from the trials and tribulations so you can take them to the next step. But in their energy in reverse, they were non-committal, lack of progress, learning from past mistakes. So they were procrastinating and needed to plan, bring their plans down to earth. You're dealing with a page energy, somebody very, very, very manipulative and naive and loves. Very, very manipulative at that. It may be learning into the future in some sort of way, but it's irrelevant. As you move away from that, you're bringing the abundance, which is your soul. You may be hoping for the counterpart to that, but it did come out in reverse for their energy, if that makes sense. So that does show they were incredibly fake. So you moved away from that to manifest into your universe. But it does show you're very, very kind and warm and confident. There's more, more pentacles. Like they were extremely fake. Your material abundance is in your personal growth. Your patient and determination of a confident and warm leader, your expansion, which gives you the chance to level up. And that's your victory to have balance in an imbalanced world. And that's your victory, if that makes sense, to come into that. I wonder you juggle thoughts with your heart because they're juggling your heart and they're putting illusions into that line. See how she's holding on to that value in the mindset? It didn't matter what illusions they put in. You knew in your mindset that you had to hold on to your value and your truth and they can juggle your heart as much as they want. But the victory is a movement because that victory becomes upright into the future because therefore you realize your heart shouldn't be juggled as you step towards your abundance. Yeah, plan for your future. You couldn't plan with this person. They were juggling. They were manipulating. They put imbalances into a balance. Imbalances into an imbalanced world, yes, but it's a perspective that we all have in ourselves. You couldn't plan with the person. That's why it's there. Because they're naive. That's why it goes from the two to the three here to step on. And then these cards are right here. So there's the three there. There's the two of juggling. And there's you stepping away from that to release it because you planned. They were insecure. They, you couldn't have the plans with this person because it shows insecurity in the future. There was a lack in faith in order to take the next step, whether that's you or them. But we've got naivety here and naivety, naivety, and naivety with the devil who manipulates as you walk towards your future. I can see that there. They were worried about your inabilities or worried about your abilities or something like that, which made you feel stuck in the past. And with that there, that's imbalance. That's what that is, is imbalance. So you couldn't plan because of the imbalances that it put into your life. There was out of balance with disharmony committing too many, too many things, I suppose. But then there was a slow, there was like slow down. That's what I mean, because they're lazy. It was a learning curve, but it does show there was a lot of rumors and a lot of lies and a lot of gossip there. Yeah, a lot. You, this is, whoa. Dealing with somebody's like of rumors, broken promises, lies, slander, trying to solve emotional or spiritual issues of an idiot because they are an idiot for starters, but that's just the one card. They projected their feelings outwards. They were all talking no action, which is why it was playing with your heart. That's why you had to step towards your own journey to get your own relationship, your own connection with spirit, your own something in itself. But it does show somebody who was basically lying or manipulating. They were all talking no action. And that's the illusion in that mindset. And you knew it because your value, you knew your value. There was missing communication, disharmony, disputes, struggling relationship, a need for deeper connections and a delay. You put delays in your life. And that's what I mean. That's why it comes out with stagnancy. That's why you have to step on the journey here. See, it's right here to kick the domino effect out because it goes from the two to the three because they're manipulating your heart and you can't manipulate your heart because it's inner beauty. That's what that card is. If you just ask the question in your head, the answer is yes. But it does show the... Um, it's centered, the whole past is centered around their ego because that card like that is somebody delays blocking you with a negative outcome, blocking you with a negative mindset so you couldn't have a positive outcome. There was self-doubt there. They were playing on your confidence. It gave you the chance to seek liberation and seek inspiration into your future. Yeah, man, ego, inauthentic positivity delays. They need to work on their own negative mindset or belief, lack of confidence. As you, as you seek inspiration to work on joy. And there's a depression. Whatever relationship it was, it was very, very disharmony. And that is the truth. It's real disharmony. And that's why there is, because there's a disharmony and that's why they're receiving judgment. But in your perspective, you get the harmony because your spirit knows your heart motives to be true because you are the light and the light was in your hands the whole time. As you step towards your journey and kick that domino effect out into the play of yourself, might have been dealing with somebody who was extremely fake, right? Can't wait to see what comes into the future. 
Yeah, man. Feeling out of part, out of harmony with a partner. Miscommunication. Another card. A chance for you to have self love and take your power back in that relationship because they had high expectations of you or others, and you were losing yourself in a partnership, maybe possibly due to codependency or ego. As you moved away from that, and there's the ego. All right, ego, 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 ego. Wow, this is all major lessons, man. Like, look at all that major arcana across the reading. This is a major lesson. Somebody was very over controlling. They were. They needed to be. They needed to be checked. The best way to say that, because the page of points is in reverse. Unchecked power. It's the same thing. Unchecked power is just a different way of saying the same thing that I'm saying. Unchecked power, ruling with an iron fist, overly pragmatic, corrupt, selfish, um, way too defensive. They were stubborn. And that's just what we're talking about over here with this card, let alone this card, let alone all of these cards for that energy. But like I said, these cards just explain why here. And then they explain why into the future because the things of the past don't lead us to the future, but it explains why you put the hard work in. It explains why they were lazy because there's naivety around lazy because they wouldn't, they were trying to manipulate your mindset. It's right there, manipulate the mindset with illusions. But you knew your self value as you grew to be the king, if that makes sense of your own life and manifest into your universe, the balanced, beautiful things that come in and it had to come from the illusions. As you step towards yourself as a soul, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Now we we're talking about that at the start there. You wear your heart on your sleeve, but you definitely could have been dealing with somebody very narcissistic. I can't wait to see what comes into the future for these cards. Yeah, somebody missed the signs. Another card that says it. See, it puts emphasis to this card here as to why as well. Somebody missed the signs. You had to protect your heart. They were not open to love. They were a player, a jealous partner, moody, sulking, negative emotions that blocked progress. And that's what I mean. With ego of an over-controlling person like that, you can't you can't teach an old dog new tricks that they'll never, ever, ever learn because of their narcissistic ways and their abuse. So therefore, through their manipulation of a narcissist player, who is emotionally volatile, by the way, and melodramatic, broody, selfish, you're able to understand who who you are that you wear your heart on your sleeve and that needs to be protected because she's holding on to that value and that value is in your mindset but it shows that you're a beautiful person like you're a lover you're a thing of beauty that's what it says there a lover a thing of beauty for that card yeah definitely being manipulated there in some sort of way explain this right i want to show you something right we channeled before we started all right so the channeling's coming into the reading thoroughly yeah but these are their energies here right Look, all in reverse up here. The victory is to move away because that's why it had to be ended because you couldn't have love from the person who wouldn't learn from the trials and tribulations while you did. There was illusion in some sort of way from naivety, naivety and there's a naivety, the illusions in between that's the devil that plays on the mindset which is ostracizing you and leaving you outright. As you step towards your future of abundance and manifest abundantly into your future with balance, a balanced mindset because you worked hard on it, right? But have a look here. There's their energies. Why are they receiving judgment? because of their naivety and love. And there's the love that they offered, you, you were hoping for, and it's fake. It's fake, because that's a fake person. Does it make sense? The naive uh, naivety in that fool is zero, zero. It means they've still got a lot of lessons to learn, right? But your energy, as you can see, that's what I was saying before we even pulled any of their cards, before we clarified with any of those cards to pull those cards, we can see that your cards are beautiful as you're manifesting abundance within an equal balanced mindset and an equal balanced heart because you know your worth and there's balance within that as you release the burdens and step towards your journey of equilibrium within your rights. Because look at this. See the affinity sign there? And that's the affinity of this card here as you step towards it. See the affinity in the crown there, which is the crown here of knowing your worth and the affinity of anything's possible in that heart as you manifest with abundance coming into the future. Thoroughly explains it, like thoroughly explains, thoroughly explains why the Page of Cups has come in reverse there, why it had to be released, why it's ended into your world, why there was no hope there, it's because there was no love, why there was no victory there, because I'm juggling your heart, let alone put illusions into your head with ego and bullshit, because it's centered around ego from here, let alone double emphasis on ego of a narcissistic player who put just shit into your head that you should not have had, had to be there, and that's the disharmony. Well, let's clarify I want to see this future is because it's going to be beautiful. All right, the two of uh, things comes to clarity, man. I mean, straight up, victory. Yeah, we've got victory here and all victories of that chariot there and triumphant victory is in your movement. But the first card that comes out into your future is victory, clarity, truth. That's what the Ace of Swords is, is clarity. Look at the little, little owl on there. It shows how wise you are. 
as you get all your downloads and see it goes straight across now when i put that down it goes straight across there to the growth in her mindset around the naive love you've had to deal with that puts the abundance into the world to give the rebirth so you're not juggled again into the future and that's why you have to plan from the two to the three here to step towards that clarity in who you are as a soul with so you're not juggled as you manifest into, into the beautiful things into the future but it does show you were definitely being manipulated. The, the magician coupled with the, the imbalances in that mindset, because it's in the heart there. Somebody was manipulating your heart and putting illusions into your mindset. You are working on the elements and using those to create manifesting, because it's like they're manifesting into the future, and that's beautiful, with clarity and balance into that lifestyle. But somebody was putting illusions. That's manipulation. Or making you worried or something like that in itself because that's what the juggling thoughts are they didn't see your potential which is why they never seen your worth because they couldn't get over their own illusions that they cast it they were had questionable intentions they were selfish self-destructive they needed to focus their energy more and stop blocking your creative energy with illusions manipulations it gave you a chance to have self-confidence as your natural talent and ability coming into the future to manifest your dreams into into reality and i can see it here for starters into the world let alone two cards on manifestation you're very creative you, know, you have processed all the resources that you need to have transformational success. It says it in the book up there. As you, your unique essence is beautiful. The expression of your soul is beautiful. It's like sacred resonance in the world of freedom, euphoria, blessings, bliss, and creative flow as you step towards your soul. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Alexa, what is the spiritual meaning of fourteen, fourteen? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, it said that, in terms of angel numbers, 1414 is a message from guardian angels and spirits that your thoughts and emotions are lifted to a more positive and enlightened state. It also means that you need to remove bad things and negative people from your life and focus on your goals and passions. Yeah. So you can see here what's going on here. Like she's talking about your guardian angels watching over you, keeping safe. And look at the guardian angel in the background there as you bring that light to fruition, yeah? And the judgment has been laid. And then she's talking about releasing baggage and don't allow things to juggle your heart with 1414, let alone having clarity into that mindset of who you are as a soul as you manifest beautiful things into your mindset. The past is a learning curve. This card here, it says in the book up here, it says, you're being tested and you judged and you're, you're being tested and judged and you passed the exam. Does it make sense? So it's all a learning curve yeah, from being trapped in the mindset as you're being manipulated. It shows it there thoroughly. It gives it when we reverse it back to the past, it shows thoroughly that you're being manipulated in your mindset and clarity. And there's in the mindset with illusion and there's a the manipulation in one card alone. And the 10 of pentacles, only 10 of cups only brought you to what's your freedom. See, so you're free from this, manipulation the, see the manipulation of trapping that mindset here you're being ostracized left out in the cold and you had to walk away from their manipulation and we can see the manipulation the eight of swords is being trapped and you can sell but now, so now now you release that to bring your happiness and harmony into yourself you're now free to manifest the things that you want into your life with a free mindset and because that's a card of like pre-empress energy but it's more inner peace coming into the future like real inner peace because i can see it in your mindset I can see it in your mindset. These cards, they don't lie, let alone spirit before I channel the readings. Yeah, this is a spiritual and material satisfaction of personal achievement, inner peace, milestones met and celebrated, the energy of his successful harvest. And I can see it here anyway. Look, she's standing there alone, but she's got a foot standing on the ground, even balanced. Yeah? And that's manifesting those new opportunities as you grow yourself. She's growing herself in that mindset because of the imbalances that people manipulated and playing on that heart with no victory and the alleged towards your freedom to be unapologetically you. But now we've got to go to three to the three here and see why. Manipulated. I'm telling you the truth. You're being manipulated, 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 manipulated. You're being manipulated. Somebody actually went out of their way to really, really manipulate you and keep you trapped while the vices or manipulation is stagnant or something. It keeps coming out for your reading. The cards mean certain things. There was some sort of bondage, some sort of trapped. You're being manipulated by somebody. That's just that card alone. You're being manipulated by somebody. They were not being honest. They put negative circumstances in and they did not see their own role. You were giving your way your power and feeling helpless. That, that's just one card, let alone every single card here. 
that you've now been freedom from those vices and healthy versus unhealthy sexuality and obsessing about stupid material shit that's by fake people that put those thoughts into your mindset as you delve into the shadows of thyself. But in that, you're able to be free because it comes to the sun here, which is the most happiest and positive. And there's the victory. They're a victory in reverse. They're that in card in reverse in your heart. So you know it, but that's your victory. The whole thing is centered around that one card there of you being free into movement, let alone right there. And then there's the level of intuition you have, right, into your self-love, let alone to be you as a soul. You're being spiritually guided to your rites of passage. And there it is there as the overview of the whole, whole future here. The victory, that's all victories in one go and it's in your future and it's coupled with the most happiest and positive card you could literally have because you're free from their manipulation. There's the worries, there's the manipulation as you step towards it as the mirror effect takes out. That's the domino effect I was talking about in that card. That's with, with the domino effect. I was talking to somebody the other day about the butterfly effect um, and how they were changing their life and things like that um, around the future. And, and I was explaining to him about his ex-wife and, and how things that needed to happen has to happen. He couldn't understand what I was saying. And I said, look, right? And I gave him four things that are beautiful that he's literally just had within his life that I know of within the past couple of months, let alone a year, right? And, and since since he's been gone. And I said, look, those beautiful things wouldn't have happened had you been with that person because you'd still be trapped in your mindset. You'd still be worried about the illusions, whatever they are, or the options, or the manipulation, or juggling the heart, thought, feelings, and things like that, you know, and not having the balance there. So you're able to step towards your journey being free to know that those things that are coming in are coming in specifically just for you because you are free within your soul now to embrace who you are and manifest anything into your possibilities with clarity. And if you had not have ended that off, it worked away or the town moment didn't come around, the manipulation didn't end, you didn't turn your back, they didn't turn their back, something. If it didn't end in some sort of way, the universe has a way of, through the chaos of creation to bring those things into fruition so you can get your way and, and walk your talk. Does that make sense? Because you're dealing with somebody who didn't walk their own talk. They were naive. And it shows it there thoroughly because all the victories in the movement away from the devil that manipulated that mindset so you could have the happiness and positivity to step towards your future as you release it here, unforeseen, release it to walk into that future. The depression, what's going to come out here? Releasing it to walk your journey. Look, she's taking a leap of faith here. Now we're channeling at the start there. Now that's the leap of faith I'm talking about. You've been able to step towards your new journey, free, with victories coming in that you earn in yourself. And it may be love, because the next card's got to be around love, but it's freeing yourself from the manipulation of those vices of temptation, whatever it is, whatever it is, whether it's money, jobs, work, love, happiness, positivity, something had to be free so you could be unapologetically yourself because I've got double manifestations here. And as you walk in away, look, there's the manipulation, Victor is walking away and then there's stepping on the journey to be free in that mindset. I can't wait to see what's up there, but there is love coming in and it's your judgment, it's your redemption to receive that judge, that life. And it comes in with harmony because it's coupled with love. Does it make sense? And spirit also knows your heart motives to be true because it's right there with harmony coming into the future around the manipulation that you put up within the past. They were wearing false masks. We can see it here in itself. It's coupled with the bullshit from the lover. So it shows why they're receiving judgment from their ego. But now you've got beautiful love coming in and that's beautiful because it's somebody that knows how to love. And it's your victory to receive that because it's coupled with a divine counterpart. Divine counterpart who's into itself beautiful. The King of Cups is one of the, like in my readings, they're not male or female. That's somebody who knows how to love, somebody who can give and receive love of a generous, emotionally balanced, well, beautiful, creative soul who is the unconscious of the conscious, someone friendly, wise, and diplomatic. As you step towards redemption into your soul and lead yourself to the future, because the next card's got to be around a couple a cup being offered. See, put boundaries in place. That's the wounded warrior. You're the wounded warrior. That's what that is. You come through the pillars of Hercules there to be strong and triumphant. So when the love comes in, you put the boundaries in place, yeah? But that's a victory in itself. It's not only victory, victory. It starts with victory, which is a victory of clarity. In the middle of the whole reading, it's victory. And it's let alone double emphasis on triumphant victory. You couldn't have had it there. They're in reverse over here. And then that's the other victory. There's only one more victory, which is victory of success. But you wouldn't need it because it's coupled over here with success of this victory. Does it make sense? That's the Wounded Warrior, and the Wounded Warrior goes through everything to complete things out so they can have success. That's what that card is. 
Straight out of the book, success and completion, the world, all right? Now we'll get a second opinion on that. The world is beautiful because it shows that you are the fool on the journey learning through the trials and tribulations, which is the next card here of learning the trials and tribulations to be able to complete. Next stop from the world is the fool. So you go back through and then ascend to new levels of awareness because you are love in itself, the completion, the achievement, the joy, the finishing that large product, finishing what that was in itself for your goals to be met into the future of a happy ending with abundant success, transcendence, new levels of consciousness that can be literally mean traveling the world that you give and receive to the universe so you deserve beautiful things because that's what that card is giving and receiving that's the illusions in that mindset you get over giving and over receiving to a person over giving to a person that didn't give back into the future and that's the best way to say that let's have a look at the outcome so we can pull some extra cards and have a look yeah man look at that he could have never grew with this person but the best part about it in the outcome this is what's coming in you have to take decisive action right the two swords is choice yeah and look at that it's air it's air energy as well look at the freedom on the bat in the background it's free you're free to make your own choices and free to make your own decisions see the light behind him which is a this dragonfly that's the light of the lord look you're the light the light is within you and that's what that means the light of the lord it's on the sword the sword of truth the sword of clarity the ace of swords look at the bird up there it shows a fire perspective that you have towards your soul because the out here shows wisdom because you know your value and you know what you deserve and what you don't deserve so you can grow that tree to full fruition into yourself you would have never been able to grow there because of their love so now you put their action and decisive action into yourself so you can grow that tree into yourself and that's beautiful because whatever they're doing here was breaking your heart there it is right there you were shutting the door yeah you were shutting that door we're gonna be honest about it you open that door back up because you're free from their broken hearts to be the abundance that you are it's right there see it's now open it's the same card but a different deck they're commanding you to stay down see look we could literally do this whole thing in just these two cards there's the commanding to stay down and there's the door shut right now the door's open in the outcome there so you can manifest beautiful things coming into your future and it won't come with a broken heart and when you cry spirit cries with you see See the door there? It was shut. And Spirit's like saying, no, you're the beautiful, you the lovely soul. You can't, no. And so, so Spirit sits there with you, like he's here with me right now, and cries with you because he can't, he's trying to get the message across to you that you're beautiful and that your beauty is in, within your own abundance to complete these things out and step towards your soul journey of being a, a material abundance within your soul because it's the Ten of Pentacles and the outcome, let alone the decisive action with those Two of Swords and the King of Swords to take, walk away from that naivety in the past into yourself so you can manifest the beautiful things in and it's the decisive action that you took with clear communication into your soul is a very very clear communicator that grows that ten of pentacles within your soul and therefore that's why spirit doesn't want you there are two kings in the outcome here so somebody who's really really learned the trials and tribulations you could have not have done it with this person that's why the tail moments underneath it by the way is they would never ever learn it's because of their ego look at their ego but now you get the abundance with the rebirth coming in with something that's going to love unconditionally but the abundance is within you and it was always within you as you release the burdens and things that play on that heart see and embrace that light for what it is there's your wish i just split the deck look i just grabbed the cards and split the deck and let spirit do the rest of the works you are your own wish fulfillment for starters but there's making the wish and there's wish fulfillment i just do what spirit says to do and that's it and then the readings they come through right we are being manipulated in the past you deserve your wish when it comes in Manipulated in the past. As soon as I start talking about the past, you have a wish fulfillment coming. It's the best way to say that. Wish fulfillment is coming. Let alone the fact that they just came out both goes in one go there, and all they did was grab the card and split it. Anything could have came up there. Man, look at that. The naivety broke your heart thoroughly. Yeah, and that's why the town member had to come down. Ooh. It's right there, but it's coupled with this card here. That's why it had to be ended out, yeah? So you could bring the fruition of yourself because. Their illusions were so disgusting. Look at the illusions here in the mindset, right? That's what the shadows are. They need to be addressed, right? But that's where the hermiting comes into play. Shutting yourself off from the world so you can think, yeah? But see the moon there? It's the face of the hermit. So you can address your own shadows around their broken heart that they put into your play. See? Learning. It's a learning curve from the past. See? Because they're trapping you in the mindset with their illusions. Come out in a completely different deck. As you step towards your journey and complete that out, spirits releasing and step towards your journey to complete that out for success to come in. And that's beautiful because you're beating to your own drum and being unapologetically you. It's time for passion, spontaneousness, charisma, every single thing that you could ever possibly imagine that you could physically manifest into your world. It's time. The things of the past, 
Only legend towards that Ten of Pentacles and the outcome. And that's the best way. So you can plan for your future. There's the first card there. As you can plan. It's not what I mean. The whole reading, once they get done, it gives me a full perspective of what it is. The Ten of Pentacles is in the outcome. And so you can plan for your future with clarity and vision into who you are as a soul to bring that to fruition. That's a 10 to the 10. So start planning for your future. It's the things of the past that only ledger towards you as a soul. That's what I was saying to the other dude the other week. You shouldn't have things playing on your mindset. That's enthusiasm. It's a complete enthusiasm, right? Cut them down with their morals. Cut them down with their integrity. I love this card. It's honesty and integrity. It goes thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly with that value there. And also the enthusiastic of a fun, abundant new beginning coming in. It shows you have morals and integrity. That's why divine judgment has been laid. And that's why you have beautiful things coming into your futures because you showed honesty and integrity that times that people don't show honesty and integrity. Yeah, nobody's perfect, but you somebody was playing with your heart and you can't have that into the world, which is why you have to release it here. So you step on your journey and that's your perspective that you had leading towards the future. See the naivety and, and the fighting and conf conflict in itself that needed to be released as you step towards your journey. Let's have a look at your future here. Yeah, you walked away from that stuff to walk to something, and this is beautiful, which is your abundant new beginning. Three more cards for it once. Yeah, beautiful. You trust your intuition, which is magnificent. But I've got to be honest, there were secrets there. That's why you couldn't have abundance with this person. There were secrets there. Yeah, secrets, deception. As soon as I go near their energy, it starts pulling that stuff out. It starts pulling horrible things out. And there's clarity, man. It's the same truth there. Look, same card there, the same card. As soon as I start going near their deceptions and their secrets and stuff, it starts giving me the truth of clarity. Somebody was putting illusions into your life and manipulating your mindset. Regardless whether it's a, regardless whether it's a player who cheats, uh, there has to be some sort of illusion or narcissist, narcissist there that missed the signs of growth in the self. They didn't know how to love. There has to be because of the way the cards has come out. It's going to your heart. Strong heart, man. Two strong hearts. Yeah, that's what I get in the song by Johnny Farnham. But you can see the affinity sign as you manifest anything. It's not even a manifesting card. See the strength? It's got affinity above there. So it shows you can manifest anything. Because look at this. Affinity there. And then that's how that sits now. So it's affinity. You can manifest anything when you come at it from a positive positive mindset with clarity. You can't, when you mani you can't manifest when you're trapped in your mindset because you sit there and worry about all the injustices that have happened and why they happen in itself and you can't have that celebration you showed integrity in your mindset and value within your soul to have an abundant new beginning and it's because of the strength in your heart to lead yourself towards exactly what you want and to heal there's the three of swords here look three swords one two three one two three on your wall like victory and then the ace of swords gives you the clarity to help you sleep at night knowing damn well that they're going to receive justice in itself and manipulating you and all these ten of swords stabbed in completely in the back and there's the justice in itself and you've got to understand this is sheer determination, yes, but every card has an energy, and that energy is Aquarius. See the sword there? See the sword to help you sleep at night? That's the justice that they receive for playing with your heart. Let's have a look at your world. No, I'm going to put one more card on there. Sorry. Holy oh, Spirit. Why are we healing? It's time to celebrate, man. It's time to celebrate. You may be healing from friends, families, lovers, or something that was naive there in itself, but it is a time to start celebrating in your world because now we're going into the world and yeah, you've released it it's the best way to say that you've released see it's ended so you can have your abundant new beginning of that manipulation see ended the death there is a symbolic death which brings a rebirth into your new beginning to release your vices from whatever was manipulating and playing on that mindset up here because i can see it here as well and it's right there that's why you had to step in your journey it's coupled with this card here put boundaries in place it's the way, best way to say that. Put boundaries in place. Make sure they can't come past and manipulate you again. Yeah? Cut them down with morals. Cut them with a clear communication. That's also decisive action. It's right there. Whatever you're hoping for in the future, it's just, it's beautiful, all right? The reason it's beautiful is because that King of Swords is just... Man, okay, I'm going to explain it. All right, I'm going to do something a little bit selfish, or right? I'm going to put myself into your reading for a second. If I was going to manifest something, and I'm going to manifest a clear partner for my communication for my future, that's what I would want. That's what I would want. The emperor can have ego. That's what I would want, because this is going to give me clear communication into who I am as a soul. They're going to work with you. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to be able to talk and communicate so you don't get trapped in your mind and juggled and manipulated. 
they're going to be able to um, step towards a soul because you're not going to be manipulated by somebody who doesn't know how to uh, talk and be conceited in their own journey and be rigid in their thinking and tendency over control. So that's what I would want leading into my future, especially with somebody brave and courage and strong, and especially with somebody who's spiritually in flow and somebody who is a strong communicator and blends those mental and spiritual together. So therefore, you don't juggle the things of your heart. It's hard enough in the world, let alone somebody who is a manipulative. So that's why I'm, I'll just put that into there myself. But... It, that's what I mean in itself. So in your hopes, you've got beautiful things coming, okay? And it come from the things that left you out. It's right here. Yeah, as soon as we go, it's explaining it, right? You took decisive actions. See the King of Swords there? Decisive actions to not shut the door and be left out in the cold into your world. And that gives you a hope leading to the future to release any burdens. And that's beautiful because that card is a final push as you work on yourself and work towards your love. Look at that. They're both naked there in the eyes of spirit. See spirit there? Both naked. That is a masculine to feminine version of yourself, but it shows you're vulnerable to spirit. And that's beautiful because I've got the light there in itself. But you may be working or manifesting real love because he's working away there and he's definitely manifesting there with double manifesting cards. So it's like a final push at the present moment to complete the things out and celebrate. That's what I mean here. From, oh, wow, what are they doing up there? I want to... They're celebrating, yeah? They finished it out. It's time to celebrate. So you can literally have beautiful things because you know your worth. There's something coming in because you completed that out that comes with stability. It's coupled with this card here with love in itself. And take the last two cards randomly. Yeah, so you're not trapped in your mindset over that bullshit from the past uh, and being able to co-create with divine and step towards your journey of who you are as a soul. They're receiving judgment, but spirit knows your heart motives to be true with real love coming in and we want one more card. Yeah, because you grow. You, it's right, excuse my language, it's right there. Because you continue to grow in your mindset. You're abundant within your mindset, and that's beautiful. Look how heavily, oh, wow. There's the fucking psychic attacks and bullshit they put into your life and teasing you while putting you down, because that's why it puts emphasis on that card there around the manipulation. It's like, look at him laughing, laughing at manipulating it. Like laughing. The spirit says, no, you co-create with the divine. Pause and reflect on how far you come. Your beautiful, fated, beautiful things coming in because the decisive action that you took into yourself only brings a justice with beautiful options and beautiful fantasy coming in. So protect it from the past to come in with good memories as you, the Knight of Swords, it's underneath that, have sheer determination to step on your direction towards finding that happiness and positivity that won't stab you in the back, won't leave you out in the cold, won't make you sad. The past will be in regret because it's double emphasis because of how hard you worked to have inner freedom within your soul and embrace yourself with an enthusiastic new beginning it's right there and to bring in that wish fulfillment because you worked hard on your soul yeah literally to bring that wish fulfillment in be spiritually guided with double emphasis on movement which is to your victory to manifest beautiful things because you address the shadows to be able to grow your mindset to that boss energy with good things coming in fast that brings a knight of cup shining armor if that makes sense because you are heavily protected see absolutely beautiful let's get some extra cards here and have a look that's what i mean so if you did not taken decisive action from the past, which is that king there energy there, you, you would still be there being be manipulated. It's like you trusted your extreme trust of your intuition. Well, that's beautiful manifestation, man. You are manifesting it right now. You are manifesting, you are manifesting, you are manifesting. So just remember that. It's coupled with that card there. That's clear communication in what I'm saying. Yeah, your angels definitely watch over and keep you safe. Yeah, look, this is an oracle deck. It's not even tarot. I've been calling them tarotcles. There's clarity for somebody, right? Because it starts here with clarity as well, all right? You're healing at the present moment because you know your worth, and that's beautiful because leading into the future, you have love, and the key is you, yes, and that's beautiful because it opens the door, so be calm. That's what I mean. Don't shut that door because it's opening the outcome there as well, but you shut the, you didn't shut the door, so therefore, you're able to bring those things in and bridge that, bridge that crossing into your heart, which is beautiful with the growth in that world, which is magnificent. The foundation is you because it's a final push at the present moment, and be grateful for the beautiful things that are coming because spirit is there spirit is your strength you are a spirit strength as well at the same time the impact is absolutely beautiful and last card your compassion your pure compassion in itself your intuition's on fire and you're bleeding with self-love and courage and there's courage within that in itself your angels really 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 do watch over you and keep you safe okay and that's how protect that's what that black card is in front of you there because you're bold confidence and it should be you are never alone slow and steady wins the race which is that methodical process reclaim your power which is what you're doing trust the great mystery of the universe freedom is yours oh be open to infinite possibilities look at this be open to infinite possibilities leading into the future. Infinite. That's what that is, right? And then look, you're free here. Freedom is yours. It's just, this is completely tarical, different tarical, tarical deck. So freedom is be open to opportunities. Sometimes life stings, yes, into itself. 
but a rebirth is assured. Yeah, just self-love. You're beautiful, okay? So trust in the divine details and be at home with you because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful reading. There's beautiful things coming because you complete the shit out that no longer serves you so you can bring that wish fulfillment in. That's why I love this card so much is it's a genie. Anything can, anything's possible. Anything is possible with spirit and I'm telling you the truth. Anything is possible. That's a reading I have for you today. It does thoroughly explain it thoroughly before I even start. So give us a like, um, leave us a comment and stuff like that. But freedom is yours. You can manifest whatever you want as long as spirit stay in it thoroughly. You can manifest whatever it is you want as long as you come at it with a kind heart and a good mindset, then that's you don't ever receive judgment. They're going to receive judgment. That's what I mean. The judgment is spirit knowing that your heart and your motives are true. See the redemption there? It's also in your future as well. There's clarity coming to somebody, all right? Don't put up with no manipulation. Not now, not ever. Don't allow anybody to manipulate you or put you down. And if anybody does, turn around in your mindset and just say this to yourself. I am a beautiful person. I deserve beautiful things into my future. I'm not going to put up with this crap. I'm going to put my boundaries in place. The universe is infinite and anything is possible with 8.5 billion people within it. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Just understand that you really, really are protected. And that's the truth. If you don't, don't explain it here, explain it from this one. It doesn't explain it here. There's 500 cards here. Look at them all just still sitting here. All of them. Anything bad could have come out. But nothing's going to come out as soon as it go near your energy because your energy is strength and your happiness and positivity. Your inner beauty, if that makes sense. And it's beautiful because you work hard. It's the sheer determination of yourself as a soul to heal, continually heal from the tower moments of being naive, and being, being treated like naivety, like by somebody naive and that's beautiful because it's your growth and your justice to grow considerately and the best way to say best way to say fuck you to somebody is a dickhead from the past is to keep growing and outgrow their bullshit have a lovely beautiful day i tried so hard not to swear have a lovely beautiful day take care and god bless